Okay, another math video from AlgebraTestHelper.com. And what I want to do here is uh, tackle this basic equation, x plus 6 equals 10. And it's a real easy equation to solve, and probably most of you out there can already um, solve it and, and have the answer. But I want to use it as, um, as a way of talking about a real important principle in algebra. All right, so I have x plus 6 equals 10, and I want to solve this equation, meaning that I want x equals some number, and that's going to be my solution. But right now I have x plus 6 equals 10. So obviously I'm going to have to do something with the 6. Now I like to just take my pencil out and just you know erase it away, um, but you know that's going to mess things up. I really can't quite uh, do that in algebra. But what you can do, which is just as easy I think, is you can just subtract the way subtract out the number that you don't want. Because if I have x plus 6 equals 10 and I want to get rid of that plus 6 over on the left hand side, no big deal. Let's just get rid of it. Okay, so I'm going to subtract a 6 away from that 6, and that effectively basically gets rid of that 6. Okay, but here's the deal. This is what I really want to stress. If I subtract a 6 from the left hand side of the equation, you have to do the exact same thing on the right hand side of the equation. That is the key thing that I want to stress here. And if you remember that principle, you'll be able to handle any equation in mathematics. All right, so I want to subtract a 6 from the left hand side because I want to get rid of that plus 6, but I also have to do it to the right hand side of the equation. All right, and um, for those of you out there that are familiar with this step, okay, and you like to show it this way x plus 6, and you're going to show us a minus 6 like so, okay, subtracting 6 from both sides of the equation in a more uh, horizontal format. That's okay, especially if you're successful. However, eventually I would suggest transitioning over to this column format. I've been doing this for a long time, and as, you're, um, you, know, as you start progressing and you deal with more challenging equations, you're going to find out that working in columns is much easier. All right, so we have x plus 6 equals 10, and I'm subtracting 6 from both sides, and you kind of notice how I have all this, uh, um, the negative 6, negative 6 is lined up nice and orderly under these columns. Okay, so you want to draw a little line like that. And now the, the last step is, is you're going to be adding down in a column form of uh, column format okay so let's go ahead and take care of the left hand side so I have x plus nothing is x 6 plus a negative 6 is 0 or 6 minus 6 is 0 so all I'm left with on the left hand side of the equation is x okay and that's what I wanted okay, I didn't want x plus 6 I just wanted x so I accomplished my um, my mission there on the right hand side I have 10 plus a negative 6 or 10 minus 6 and that's 4 okay so x equals 4 is your solution, but um, you know that's a real easy problem to solve. But the key thing here okay, that I'll keep reinforcing in other videos is that when you're dealing with an equation, you can change it in any way you want. Okay? You can add numbers to an equation, subtract numbers, multiply by numbers, divide by numbers. Um, it's, it's fine. You can do anything you want to an equation as long as you do the exact same thing to both sides. That's the key thing to remember. All right, so I hope this little video helped you out. Uh, please come by our website, algebratesthelper.com. It's a uh, great free resource uh, filled with other videos like this and tutorials. So uh, take care and good luck.